Christmas trees again this year. Got yours right here. Uh, you had a uh, Canadian blue spruce last year. Oh, this one's a real beauty, almost 10 feet tall. Mrs. Frank likes the big ones. Cute. How much is the big one? 90. We had to go up a little. We're not buying a Christmas tree this year. Luther? Shh, we talked about this. to go up on the price. We're making less per tree than last year. It's not about the money. We're not doing Christmas this year. We're gonna go away on a cruise. We don't need a tree. All right. Out of the frying pan and into the fire. Luther. What? Why? Come here! What are they doing? Who? Mm. Spilling their guts to Frohmeyer. Oh, not Frohmeyer. Are you intimidated by Vic Frohmeyer? Honey, he's like the unelected ward boss of the street. So you're saying Frohmeyer has a problem with our skipping Christmas? Who's he gonna call? The three wise men. Santa Claus. Don't underestimate him, honey. Vic Frohmeyer lives and breathes for this neighborhood. You should have just bought the tree. You didn't have to put it up. No. You could have left it in the backyard. Quiet. Why are you whispering, Luther? This is our house. I'm whispering for the same reason you're hiding behind that curtain. Huh? Hey, Walt. Luther Crank just stiffed the scouts on a Christmas tree. Can you believe that, Mr. Frohmeyer? 